In this step-by-step -step tutorial, learn how to install Windows 11 on a PC even if your CPU is not officially supported. Officially, Windows 11 requires an Intel 8th generation and beyond CPU. You also need a TPM 2.0. If you try to upgrade with an older CPU or TPM 1.0, you will get an error message that prevents you from upgrading. Basically, you need a CPU to run Windows 11. You have two options. You can continue using Windows 10 another four years throughout October 2025 or alternatively you can as an option to upgrade to Windows 11 now using a workaround published by Microsoft. In this video, we will walk through the workaround offered by the Microsoft. First of all, you have to head over to this website the link would be in the description then scroll down and you will see this option 11 disk image iso so download this iso select from the drop down list 11 here you choose the language there are a lot of languages available and hit that download option now you go to start menu or search bar and here you type registry editor and click on this registry editor and here you need to do some settings i'm pasting the text in the description so that you can copy that text and paste it here at the top search bar replace this computer and paste this text here if there is no value written there and default is showing then you are all set you just now need to right click here and uh, then create something new so if there are some values given that's okay right click create new and choose d word 32 and here you rename the same text the text would be in the description as well so once you are set here and then you need to double click this one and change the value from 0 to 1 all right then hit ok and it's pretty much easy and okay now your iso is downloaded here is the setup open this one and start installation within a few minutes you would be able to install windows 11 on an unsupported device now if you want to go back to windows 10 in within 10 days go to setting and then hit that system and then recovery and here you will see option to turn back to windows 10 I hope you like this video. If you like, thumbs up and subscribe and share among your friends. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.